good clamp anymore, but Doopy, stop fucking licking yourself. And Doopy is making the most <laughs> gross sounds him? ever. Stop him. Slap him. God, no, I'm not going to hit fucking him. Fucking punch him in the face. Are you kidding me? What? You don't, you don't punch dogs in the face. I can, but you can. No, I would not ever do that. Okay, sure. Now. Especially Anakin. Look at his little face. Come here, baby. As soon as I press Come record, so lay down. You're oh, you're crazy. A saint towards animals. You're crazy. But when I really like, you know, stuff is not recording, you're out there punching squirrels. I'd hit one of my kids before I hit my dog. Why? Because you guys are assholes. Dibby's the one eating your socks. Not mine. What do you mean? He only eats your brother's socks. You don't know what he's eating of yours. Uh, not my socks. You know those rings that you can't find? Those bracelets? Y your brother's stealing them. Yeah, for drugs. He is not. <laughs> <laughs> Just because we watch Intervention today, everything's about drugs. Everything comes back to drugs, Mom. <laughs> if you try hard enough, I guarantee you, you can circle it back to being some sort of drug problem. Yeah, I guess we probably could. It's like that Seven Degrees of Kevin Bacon game, but with just drugs. That's not a game. Well, yes, it is. That's a real game. Is it really? Yeah. Where you can name any actor or actress, and then, like, through various works that they had done with each other, lead it back to Kevin Bacon. In less than, like, seven people. <laughs> That's how much Kevin Bacon is just getting around in Hollywood. I mean, I guess that could be a game. It is. Mom, introduce yourself to everybody. Everybody knows me. Well, yeah, but we get new listeners all the time. Don't don't act fucking narcissistic. Like, oh, everybody knows. <laughs> no, me. I'm just saying everybody. Wow. I'm mom. Everybody knows mom. With as much shit as you give me, everybody knows mom. Nobody knows you, bitch. You ain't special. They do, and they like me more. We've had this conversation. And then introduce people to me. How would you tell people? Oh God, I guess that's that's him. That's him. That's him. Then you act in surprise why I treat you like shit. <laughs> He's my firstborn child. I love him so much. Never mind. I take it back. You're fucking gay. <laughs> mom, happy Easter. Yeah, Easter is this weekend. No, you know, Mom, we're, shh, you're going to date the episode. We're, this is the Easter special. Oh, oh, okay. Then I won't talk about how surprised we were that that it was like in a few days. It's literally like three days. I know. <laughs> And we haven't done anything. <laughs> I, it's April 1st. Fucking you already ruined the mystique. I was going to make it the Easter special. But you know what? I feel like at this point it's more uh, tradition on the podcast to release a holiday special like way after the actual holiday because I always get behind on releasing it on time. You are very procrast. You, you do procrastinate quite a bit. See, you call it procrastination. I call it self-care. Uh, this generation has taught me that it's not laziness if mm. if you're okay with who you are, and I am. So I don't owe anybody anything, and I can do whatever I want in the name of self-care. So whatever you want to do, whether it's right or wrong, you can just like put a label on it about it being self-care or mental health thing, and it's okay? Yeah. Yeah. So when I'm not, you know, doing things like taxes and shit, getting doopy, can you relax? <laughs> Why does he have to be in here when you record? I, because he has to be next to me all the time. He has anxiety. A dog can't have anxiety. Yes, he can, That's and he how... does. He needs to know where I'm at all the time. But even when you are around him, he's still dumb. I know, but... He needs to get his own emotional support animal. He does. You know what? He'd probably kill it, though. Yeah, he would, because he doesn't know how to behave. He's worse than Joe Biden's dog. <laughs> we should meet him. We should get those two to meet. Let's see who wins. Yeah. That's a dog fight I would want. Right? <laughs> we, could, we could probably make a lot of money on that one. We need to get Michael Vick back into the game. Okay, no. Okay, I'm, we, I'm done with this conversation. We're going to get Michael Vick... And, uh, what's his name? What's his name, huh? Transformers. I don't know. Shia LaBeouf. We need to get Michael Vick and Shia LaBeouf together and train each dog separately. 
That's not funny. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Did you hear about Shia LaBeouf? Do you know why I'm saying that? I don't. I didn't hear about him. I know, like, the whole, oh. the other guy. Oh. But I don't know about him. Do what not. did he do? Uh, his ex-girlfriend, like, months ago, came out with, like, a, this whole, like, thing about him and, like, how abusive and weird and toxic he was. And all this stuff was a pretty standard MO, like... He's really controlling, he's verbally abusive, sometimes he got a little uh, physically abusive with like pushing around, but thing, it, things took a left turn at one point because she said, yeah, at one point he uh, told me about how he murdered a stray dog <gasps> in order to get in the mindset of a killer. <laughs> and then, he did not. <laughs> do you mind? Bless you, Anakin. Fucking he had talking. to sneeze. This is why Shia LaBeouf is going to fucking murder you, dude. <laughs> he had to sneeze. Don't get mad. And then uh, what was more funny about it all is that his only statement about any of it was basically just saying, like, yeah, I'm kind of fucked up. Like, he didn't deny killing the dog? He didn't dog. say anything about it. Oh, wow. <laughs> but you know what, though? Hold on. Let's... I'm going to play devil's advocate for him real quick. Do not, do not justify him killing I'm, a dog. I'm just throwing out some hypotheticals, okay? What if the dog was racist? Really? I'm just saying. People are so quick to jump to dogs being innocent. Dogs can be pieces of shit sometimes. I know everybody knows a piece of shit dog, right? Everybody knows that one asshole dog... Who just lays on the bed and sneezes while people are fucking talking. <laughs> Don't you talk about him like that. He's fine. He's fine. You Not, really talk shit about him, but you love him. I, I love him the same way that, like, a, a dad from the 50s loves their child, their son. <laughs> he gives him shit. And then, like, once a year on his birthday... He gives him, like, a firm handshake <laughs> and, and an attaboy. <laughs> and that's all you need. Uh, do you have any Easter memories, Donovan? I remember when you used to care and you would used to lay out eggs around the house. The Easter egg hunts and, yeah. the, and the baskets. I gave you guys good baskets, too. See, but at one point, the Easter egg hunt stopped, and I don't blame you for that. Well, because that's because you guys that. didn't fucking, you guys wouldn't do it anymore. What do you mean? I, I wouldn't do it. What do you mean? Well, not just you, but like your brothers. Nobody would hunt for the eggs, so there was all these freaking rotten eggs just laying around. So I'm like, okay, we won't do that anymore. But I would still do baskets. The baskets were always good. I'll give you that. I stopped with the Easter egg hunts because that was... You woke up too early to do that shit. That was your mistake. Oh, wow, I did. That was fucking dumb. I don't know who, what made you think that you're that mom, but I, I give you credit. You know what it was? <laughs> it was because I remember when I was a kid, I would get so excited about finding the Easter eggs all over the house, you know, and, and finding where, where my dad hid them or whatever, and, and we'd find them all, and then he would do it again during dinner. And he'd hide them all again, so then we'd have a whole nother Easter egg hunt after dinner. You know why he did that, though, right? Why? To get you out of this fucking hair. Because <laughs> how long did it take you to find those eggs? So long, but it yeah. was so much fun. See, exactly. It was so much fun. You were under the delusion that this was, like, a fun little game, but really it was just you getting told to fuck off <laughs> for a little while. But... I liked it. I, I, it was fun while you did it. For a while. Well, I mean, don't... I didn't stop doing it until you, you were, like, up. 17. Then you gave up. You were, like, 17. You, you stopped caring. Come on. You tore this family apart <laughs> because you stopped <laughs> hiding <Easter>. AIDS. <laughs> um, no, but, I, like, I, uh, I liked painting eggs more than I liked doing anything else. That was more fun than anything. That was always fun. You remember uh, your brother, when he was dying eggs, he didn't wear the gloves, and his fingertips were, like, purple and black for two weeks? Yeah. Yeah, and uh, didn't the school call about it? Yeah, yeah, they were wondering what was going on there. 
Because he had frostbite. <laughs> or he didn't bathe. <laughs> Nosy ass people. You have a lot of calls from the, from the school. Oh my God. Or some shit that wasn't your fault. Yeah, yeah, quite a few, quite a few. Remember when Tristan brought the shotgun shell to school? Yeah, but like, come on, the kids were bullying them. And, there, no, okay, did, that was shown. They did have it coming. Like, I'm just saying, he warned the other kids that were kind of cool with them not to come to school that day, so. <laughs> he didn't bring a gun. It was just, it was a shotgun shell, and it was show and tell, and he thought that, he didn't ask me or tell me that this was even going on. He was just like, oh, I know what I'm taking for show and tell. The shotgun bullet. That was a fun phone call. I don't know bring you to show and tell. Death. <laughs> a mass shooting. <laughs> He did fine, though. What was that phone call like? Oh, that was that was not a fun phone call. Did they call you, like, on 10? Like, yo, what the fuck? No, because at that point, we were living out in the country, remember, at the farmhouse? Yeah, I hated that. Yeah, yeah. So it was a very small school. You know, and, and with the Illinois law, technically, he should have been expelled. But seeing as it was such a small school, the principal was like, you know... I understand. I get it. I'm, you know, I'm just going to give him a day detention and he has to have lunch with me and we're going to talk about it. You know, so that was all Tristan got for taking a live shotgun shell to school for show and tell. That was the beginning of the end for him, I think. He just got away with everything. That's just white privilege. <laughs> <laughs> That's what that is. <laughs> so you mean to tell me that this country has fucking hate school was like... Oh my god, shotgun seal. I've never seen one of them things before. <laughs> <laughs> they freaked out because it came out. You can't bring them into school. That's <laughs> all right. You know, all those teachers are secretly packing. <laughs> Every single one of them had a fucking at least one hunting rifle in their car and two in the bathroom. Do you remember the fishing game that I bought for Kane for Easter when he was like four? Yeah, it, it's the. Uh, for anybody that doesn't know, it's the uh, it's like this little round plastic thing, and then it's got little fish heads that the mouth like automatically open and close, and then you have to you have a little magnet fishing pole. Yeah, and then you pull them out one by one. Yeah, do you remember what 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 your brother said to me? Yeah, he gave you a really nice compliment. It was it really? It was the nicest compliment I think I've ever heard any child give their mother. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. You Mommy, me? you're the best hooker ever. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Because I, I apparently was hooking all the fish, so yeah. he needed to let me know I was the best hooker ever. It's called a compliment. Be fucking grateful. That that was a fun little compliment. You're so ungrateful. I don't appreciate the way that you talk about us. <laughs> well, I mean, I think you guys could do a little bit better better for me than you do. Honestly. What do you want? Hooker what? comments, freaking yeah, goodwill shoes. Yeah, what about it? So for for everybody listening, my mom and my brother have a little bit of a, a little bit of a disagreement, argument, if you will, you know, as families do, and uh, they do that thing, the white people thing, where they just don't talk for a few days, and they you know just go silent. And then just randomly message each other out of the blue like nothing ever happened. Except my mom this time was like, I'm not going to be the one to do it. This I'm not doing it. Mm-mm. This isn't me. That's not what I'm doing. And then my brother decided to break the silence. But he did. <laughs> what did he do? Well, Okay, well, granted, my bro- his brother and I thrift shop a lot together. I love thrift shows. I absolutely do. But he sent me... A picture of a pair of shoes that I used to wear back in the early 90s. You know, there were some retro Reebok baby blues that were really cool, actually. So. Yeah, they were cool. Yeah. yeah. And, and he thought the best way to end this argument, this beef, whatever you want to call it, between you guys, was to not even buy you anything brand new. <laughs> <laughs> You're not worth that shit. No. He bought me a pair of shoes from the freaking Goodwill. It was <laughs> like, yo. shoes. Here, I'm going to leave these on the porch for you, and we're going to act like everything is fine. And then it was, and you forgave him, and everybody... No, no, we haven't talked. happily ever 
I wish I could buy your fucking forgiveness with just a pair of you shit. <laughs> a dead man's jacket. <laughs> I saw uh, an article the other day that uh, some Goodwill employee found like $42,000 in this guy's jacket that passed away. Nice. Did he keep it? Well, obviously he didn't keep it. Well, obviously. You heard about it. But that, that... What would you do if you were that person? Because let me tell you. You know, back in the day, I wasn't the best teenager and I got into a little bit of trouble, right? So... I had to do public service work as a teenager and my public service work was at Goodwill and Salvation Army and I would have to go through all of the things that came in you know and and sort them out all the donations if I as a teenager found forty two thousand dollars in a jacket that was donated I wouldn't even have finished my public service work see but my big thing is like who the fuck is how, where are you hiding this? That much money. In a jacket. That's true, too. How, how does nobody notice that? That's got to be visibly noticeable. In some fashion. Oh, uh, Maybe the family members were just like, fuck this shit, and just started grabbing stuff and throwing them into boxes. Like, not even looking through it. That's what they get. What kind of, I just had more questions about it. Like, what, what was your grandpa doing? With his life, where he was like, ah, I can't, I can't trust anybody with this. This is going into the jacket. Well, who knows what he was doing for a living? Maybe he didn't want it recorded. Even then, maybe it was a hoarder situation. It, no, it, no, it wasn't. It could have been. It wasn't a hoarder situation. It could have been. I'm done watching hoarders with you. <laughs> I hate that. I love that show. <laughs> God, it's so fucking bad. <laughs> It's the worst fucking show to ever watch with anybody. Oh my gosh, it makes me like sick to my stomach. But I can't, I can't stop. Once I start an episode, I have to finish it. I don't get it. You watch like all these fucking shows that just, it it makes me just physically uncomfortable and violent. (laughs) Me too. It makes me uncomfortable too, but I still watch them and I don't understand like the logic behind it. You're watching hoarders to feel better about the shitty house that you have. Oh my god, our house is not that shitty. It on a scale of one to ten, it's like a four. Okay. Come on, it is not that bad. Our washer doesn't work. Okay, so we go to the laundry mat. The man. sink in the bathroom's been broke for years. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but, okay, but wait, wait, wait. We rent this house. This isn't my house. Oh well, yeah, I'm not saying work. this is your fault. I'm just saying. We have to justify it in some manner in your way is watching a hoarders. Because in your logic, at least the bathroom's not covered in cat shit. <laughs> so. It could be so much worse. <laughs> God, that episode was so fucking disgusting. Oh, that was horrible. And they're all the same. It really is all the same. When you come down to it, like, every episode feels just a copy and paste of one another. Because it's always like... An old woman who was like, my husband died when I was 40 and I never moved past it. And now I collect cat shit (laughs) to make me feel better about myself. (laughs) That woman was petting a dead cat that was in her freezer. She had a dead cat in her fucking freezer. Well, No, she had like 14. But one in particular she really loved. And she would open the freezer door and pet this cat. I, I didn't work on a show like that because I wouldn't be about cleaning it up. I would just, like, get them out the house and then fucking burn it. You're not, you're not keeping anything. <laughs> like, watch everything just burn. I don't care how many family heirlooms, family photos you have hidden in there. Fuck off, dude. Your, your shit is done. You gave up that right the moment you let mountains of cat shit just pile up. You know what could have fixed it, though? What? OxyClean. OxyClean can fix anything. I know that for a fact. Do you? Have you seen the infomercials for You were pretty convinced back in the day. It can clean anything. You were very convinced back in the day. That shit could have gotten Kurt Cobain clean if he wanted. (laughs) He should have had the magic of OxyClean. (sighs) They need to be handing that out to every fucking addict. Your obsession with infomercials when you were like three years old was 
kind of concerning. They're convincing. They're you good. were obsessed with Billy Mays. That man is entrancing. He knows how to fucking sell a product. Like, I mean, I, I worked out, you know, back in the day, we lived in Florida. I worked at a bar. The bars in Florida close at like 3 or 4 in the morning. So I'm coming home. It's like 3, 30, 4 in the morning. And I walk in. I'm tired and I'm half buzzed, you know. And I come into my bedroom and Donovan, you know, he's sitting up in his little white ranger pajamas. And and he's like, you know, he like he was waiting for me. He's was. like, hey, mom, mom. And I was like, yo, I'm like, what are you doing? And he's like, have, have you ever got a stain that you just can't get out? I'm mm-hmm. like, what the fuck are you talking about? He's like, this stuff, OxyClean. Have you ever had a stain that you can't get out? It gets out everything. He was up all night watching infomercials. It was four in the day of morning, and he waited for me to tell me about OxyClean. This shit was impressive. I don't think you understand. When I was watching that shit, it blew my mind. It blew my goddamn mind. <laughs> you love some damn Billy Mays. That man could sell me anything, and I would happily buy it. <laughs> yeah, that was that was fun. That was a good time. You never bought it, too, and that's what pissed me off. <laughs> I I stayed up watching that shit, thinking you're gonna you're gonna thank me. Like you were really gonna help me out. Yeah, you, you were really gonna make my life easier. You never gave it a chance. That's your problem. <laughs> You're fucking negative. <laughs> that shit, your washer would work if you just went on a clean. <laughs> Everything would work. Everything would be so much better. You're fucked up laughing at me. But you know what? That's fine. Because I'll have OxyClean and you won't, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have a messy ass life and I'm going to be OxyClean. <laughs> You're fucking dumb. What's your favorite Easter in memory for, from your childhood? And why is it secretly not happy? It's depressing. <laughs> because you confuse the two. I don't every, know. Every happy memory you have is just actually sad. It is. I don't, and I don't even know why. But <laughs> I do remember one particular Easter. My mom made us Easter dresses because she, like, sewed. She was, you know, she was one of those moms that made dresses for you. I know, is that just a common mom thing? Because I don't think it is. Well, back in the day it was. And I think it, it was more ran in our family because my grandmother Min was a master seamstress. Like she, like people would go to her to my great grandmother. So this was way back in the day when people would have dresses made for them. And she like, you know, so that's where my uh, grandmother learned how to sew. And then my great grandmother taught my mother how to sew. So she would, she would make our like Christmas pajamas and all our dresses and whatever. And uh, she made us Easter dresses. And we went to my grandpa, I think we went to my grandpa's house for Easter and had a big Easter egg hunt. And my sister Heather cried the whole time because she had to wear a dress. And yeah, that, that was a fun Easter. Okay, so what I'm thinking out of that is that Everybody was taught and got homemade clothing, but um, I'm trying to think. Uh, I don't remember a single piece of clothing you ever made me, Mom. Uh, you know why? Why? Okay, because my mom never got the chance to teach me how to sew. You let that stop you? It runs in the family. <laughs> I should just know. Yeah. <laughs> You only didn't learn because you gave up. <laughs> you're not. You're not. You you're ruining the family tradition. I am. I'm not going to teach anybody how to sew or knit. You're fucked up, mom. I'm telling you. Mom, do you want to answer some Easter questions? Oh yeah, there's Easter questions. Well, any see, uh, we have an annual thing where if you follow me on Twitter or even subscribe to the Patreon. Uh, you're allowed to ask any sort of questions regarding family, like disputes, argument, debates, complaints, whatever. And uh, me and my mom will be the ones to decide who is more in the right, whether it be like the child, the parent, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and I just, I asked people this time around for Easter themed little debates or whatever. 
And uh, a lot of the time, you guys kind of drop the ball on me, and I'm not surprised, uh, because I, I just can't expect people to be smart anymore. Oh, so you just that's have to, rude. Well, I mean, it, it is what it is, you know. Every now and again, you guys throw me a little, like, golden gem, and I'm like, look at that. People aren't fucking dumb. But, you know, we, we work with what you got. I've been doing that since day one. We'd like you to be a little more clever, but whatever, we'll work with what what you give us. Because the thing is, like, I, I understand. I get it. I like to have fun. I've been known to have fun a few times. Kay. But when, uh, when I ask you guys for some, like, goofy, lighthearted shit, and then you guys come at me with, like, my dad used to beat me every day when I was seven. <laughs> And I just don't feel like that was right. What do you guys think? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I don't want to deal with that. Like, that's not I got my... enough of my old childhood trauma to deal with. Take, take that to your fucking therapist, bro. Not even that. Just don't even think about it. Lock so, it behind a wall. Leave it alone. Fucking buy a drink and shut up. Right. So, anyways. <laughs> um, We have... Let me pick a random question. <laughs> my... my Who is, is that... Dracula? Yeah, somebody says, uh, it's my friend, meme bitch Charles Cun. Who? Yeah. Uh, he said... He? Yeah. Is it a he? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, there's not enough, uh, Dracula representation on Easter Sunday for me. That's not even a, a debate between any parents or anything. That's just a, a statement about Well, how then make it happen for yourself. Throw Dracula out on every social media aspect that you have all fucking day. Do your thing. For Easter? Yeah. Why? You can start at midnight, and because, obviously, he wants more Dracula, make it happen. You know what, Mom? I guess you're... Why are you... Why are you so supporting for them? Well, for, because... Uh, <laughs> where was the support growing up? <laughs> <laughs> for... What the fuck? You do your thing, and you make Dracula an Easter thing. I'm, I totally support that. We're getting a lot of, like, why did Jesus lay eggs questions. Huh? Well, we're getting a lot of why did Jesus lay eggs questions. Um, Jesus didn't lay eggs. Then why is it associated with Easter, do you think? When, where did the eggs come from? I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure that at some point you could trace back the Easter holiday to yeah. the whole uh, witch's religion, what's it called? Why are you asking me? Do I look like a white bitch? <laughs> Anyways, I feel like you could trace it back to one of their holidays and and probably figure that out pretty quickly because <laughs> the Christian religion kind of took over every holiday they had and made it about Jesus. Like what? Halloween. What about Halloween? Christmas. Jesus's birthday really you don't really think that's his birthday do you are you arguing with jesus are you i absolutely are am. you gaslighting jesus i absolutely am but moving on to the next question is jesus healing people ableist that's my friend will he wants to know what do you think donna why am i answering that mom i'm just asking why, why do you think jesus hasn't healed you because he's a bastard, man. <laughs> he's not a bastard. He has a father. Right, but he wasn't around. He was up in the fucking sky letting his son die. <laughs> <laughs> For everybody else's bullshit. And he just had to accept that. But oh, he brought him back to life. Yeah, a few days later. Seven. Yeah. That was bullshit. <laughs> I don't know. If, if, uh, you know what? There's a follow-up to that somewhere here. I can't find, but they asked, uh, if Jesus did heal me, would I want him to make me just, like, able to walk and, like, be okay? Or would I want him to make me, like, fully fucking shredded in, like, peak human fitness type shit? Like, you know what I mean? I feel it, like you would just want to be able to walk and be kind of how you are, because it's not like you would keep up. If, like, if he made you, like, peak human and, like, all fucking cut or whatever, you wouldn't work out and maintain that. You're too lazy. I don't know. If you gave a man a million dollars, I feel like he would try and be smart enough to invest it to keep it going. I don't believe that. And lucrative. So if you gave me, like, 
an Arnold Schwarzenegger body, I, I would use it for a little while. I, you know, the first thing I'd do is fight you. You'd probably kick me in the face. I'd drop kick you straight in the fucking <laughs> chest. I wouldn't even tell you it was coming. I would just straight fucking You'd just drop wake up you. and be like, yo, mom, guess what? Happy Easter, and then I'd fucking drop kick you. <laughs> And I'd hit your unconscious body with a bunch of eggs. Wow. I love you too, son. That would be the new tradition for Easter in this house. I was really expecting a question about Easter dinner. About, like, the traditional Easter dinner. Well, about Easter. Uh, yeah, we haven't really gotten a, yeah. a whole bunch of questions about Easter dinner. But, like, what do you feel is a traditional East, Easter like dinner, because I feel like... I don't know why ham is, but it seems like ham. It seems like ham and mashed potatoes and green beans or whatever, but ham seems to be, like, the center of, of Easter dinner for some reason. I can never tell if I like ham. I think I do. I've had some good ham, but ham... <sighs> I feel the same way, because sometimes... I don't know. Sometimes it's like the thinner cuts are better for me, but when you like have those thicker cuts and they're like chewy and it's almost like it's not done and you, you can't them. chew it enough. Yeah. And then you feel like, am I going to get sick if I actually ingest this ham? Because yeah. I've been chewing it for five fucking minutes. I, you know what? I'm going to make a controversial statement. Fucking turkey's gross. I don't like turkey. You know what? If I had turkey and it was, like, chopped up in potatoes with gravy, I'm good. But turkey by itself, I have to agree with you. But, see, that's my big thing. If you have to add a bunch of shit for it to be edible, it's not good. And ham, I like ham if I can have it sliced thin and I can fry it with some cheese and mustard and make a sandwich out of it. <laughs> I'm all about it. That's a whole nother meal. But, yeah, but just like, a just a regular ham, place. like, with potatoes and whatever, <laughs> nah, not so much. I like my Easter tradition of just going to McDonald's yeah. and getting a quarter pounder of cheese. <laughs> That's kind of every <laughs> holiday tradition for us. Because McDonald's the only thing that open that is open. Yeah. So, like, on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, we, we get McDonald's because that's all that's open. Yeah. What's wrong with that? That's, if anything, that's the most American way to celebrate any holiday. I'm okay with that. Yeah, we're not real big on holidays anymore. I feel like I did, I did my whole mom thing when you guys were little with holidays that it's over now. Obviously, you don't, you, you know, there isn't an Easter bunny coming to hide eggs and what bring the basket. What the fuck? <laughs> what do you mean there's no Easter buddy? Do you remember, what were you, 17, 16, 17, when I gave you the Easter basket and a sombrero? I forgot about that until just now. That was, that was a good Easter. I don't even think that was your idea, wasn't it? Zane's? It was. He found the sombrero <laughs> and decided to make it the Easter basket. That little shit. <laughs> that little fucking racist shit. <laughs> It was funny as fuck. <laughs> what an asshole. It was good. You put a lot of shit into it, though. Oh, I did. Yeah. Yeah, there was a lot of stuff in that Easter basket. That was a good one. Death. That was a good Easter. All right, we have a... Uh, this is from... Clara. She said... I'm not sure if this is what you're actually looking for, but one time on Easter around 2006, 2008-ish, one of my aunts chased her son's and beat them with a bag of bagels. Hell yeah. She doesn't know what for. And you know what? I can only assume that if a white woman, I'm going to assume she's white, mm, okay. is, is chasing her child to beat her with bagels, they probably deserved it. Right? Like, Are you sure? Like, it's your family? Does all of your family celebrate Easter? Because bagels kind of represent a different religion for me. What, what are they... Represent, Mom. You already know. And I'm just saying, what, maybe say maybe she didn't care that it was Easter. Maybe her son fucked up and she just grabbed a thing of bagels and decided he needed his ass beat. Maybe her son was, you know, saying some outlandish shit. I don't know. Like, you know, uh, <laughs> I'm just off the top of my head, I'm thinking, uh, thank God we killed that guy. Uh, <laughs> I wish he didn't come back from the grave. Uh... And so he needed to get his ass beat with a 
you, uh, you know. But either way, I don't agree with beating any kid with a bag of bagels. I do. That's not okay. Why? Really? I know your ass has seen some kids that deserve to get their ass beat with some bagels. <laughs> Hell, I've seen some kids that need to get their ass beat with a bag of bricks. <laughs> No, I, I don't I don't agree with that. That shouldn't have happened. What happened to you? What you do you, mean? you used to have like a spark of light in you. It's just dying now. What's a spark of light have to do with beating a kid with a bag of bagels? That, that was what made you real. <laughs> I mean at least I would hit a kid with a flip flop or something or a fly swatter. Remember I had the fly swatter in the van? Yeah, that was fun. God, fuck those kids. So why is it okay for the fly swatter, but not bagels? I don't know. Is it because you're not Jewish? <laughs> you why? said it. I didn't. You did. I didn't say that. <laughs> you're fucking dumb. <laughs> you put the thought in everybody's head. You basically said it. <laughs> you're fucking stupid. Uh, I'm trying to find another one. But yeah, like basically in the van, in the big, when I had the full size van, Donovan could get in through the back of the van and then the boys had the seats, you know, in the back, but I couldn't reach them. And when they were younger, they would start acting up or fighting or arguing and I couldn't reach them and I would be driving. So I always kept a fly swatter in the van and all I had to do was hold it up. I would just have to hold it up and everybody shut the fuck up. It was, it was perfect. Nobody was scared of you. Are you kidding me? Everybody shut up when I held that flying Yeah, that was because we're more scared that you're going to fucking crash and we'll die. (laughs) (laughs) It's not because it actually (laughs) threatening. Because your ass is just going to turn around and start swinging like a madman. You don't don't aim to kill. You just aim to hurt. Well, I mean, either way it worked. Everybody shut up. The argument stopped. Yeah, because we didn't want to fucking die. Well, you know. Uh, all right, my friend here said, My mom says that I owe her my life because she takes care of me. I say it's her duty to take care of me because I didn't ask to be born. Well, obviously he's right. Uh, how old is he? Does that matter? Yeah, it does. No, it doesn't. It does. Well, in his profile picture, he looks like he's jamming out at a punk show in a house so how old does he look he looks like he has a beard so well then grow up and and handle your shit well hold on now wait a minute you don't know his mom i don't have to yeah you do no i don't you absolutely do. i do not at 18 no. at you know what at like 16 what? 17 18 you are responsible for your own shit you can no longer blame your parents for bullshit you you need to figure oh, it out you know oh pause <laughs> Rewind the clock uh-uh. a few hours ago when we were watching. Okay, wait, that was no, different. No, 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 that was not. different. No, it's not. We were watching Intervention, and this fucking really gay guy who was addicted to crystal meth came out of nowhere. I felt so bad. For and him. was like, "Hey, my his jo- name was Richard. My my Jehovah Witness mom let my stepdad beat the shit out of me because I was gay every for years. day, though every day. And then, so what? He's he's old enough now. He needs to get over it, right? Well, no, I'm not saying that, but he had every reason to be mad at his mom. And his mom probably played a huge part in his addiction and where he was at. Where do you draw but, the line? But when it comes to, oh, my God, I didn't want to be born. Like, grow up, dude. You have a full-ass beard. Like, handle your shit and, and do what you need to do. The mom's a grown-ass adult. Why can't she handle her shit? She did, and she raised him, and he's right. still whining about, oh, my God, take care of me. No. no, no, his mom is saying that it's his job to take care of him because uh, she took care of him. Oh, then no, no, you don't need to take care of your mom. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, he says that his mom owes her his life, blah, blah, blah. Well, I mean, you should definitely be nice to your mom and, you know, help out when you can, but you don't need to take care of her. She's She's grown too, and so are you. Go about your business. Let He's your mom handle hers. You handle yours. He's in the right. Mm. Nobody has to be born. You don't get to hold that over your, your child's head just because you weren't fucking smart enough to wear a condom, Mom. Okay, but I, I didn't hold it over my parents' head that I didn't want to be born. Yeah, because you were stupid. You should have. <laughs> Do you know what they would have done? 
Do you ass. know what Grandpa would have done? <laughs> he would have fucking knocked your ass Right. <laughs> you should have done it. That would have been funny. Mom. Mom. Yeah. Stop looking at your phone. Be I'm not. I'm looking at Doopy. I was making sure he was still breathing. <laughs> <laughs> is he... <laughs> what does it say that you have to worry about whether or not the dog is breathing? So... <laughs> he just looked really, really peaceful. I was a little worried for a minute. How fucked up is your life? <laughs> when you see somebody at peace and you're like, oh, God. <laughs> oh, you must no. be dead. You look too happy. You look too content. <laughs> you're so fucking <laughs> Have you thought about going to therapy, Mom? Uh, I, I, well, I have been. Yeah? Yeah. Is, is it working? Well, you be the judge of that. It's I'm not, trying. It's not. That I'm was giving a, it, I'm giving it a go. You should seek a new therapist. Is there any updates that you want to let people know about going on with you? Um, I don't think so. Was there anything going on in your life? Like Wait. what? That's for you to decide. What well, I want? feel like you're saying that because you want it, you you want me to say something about my life that is going on, but I don't know what you're talking about. I no, I'm just engaging with you. I want people to people want to know what's going on with you. They love <laughs> hearing really? about your life, and you're so fascinating and insightful. You're and so full of shit, right? Wise now. and full of God. Knowledge. I fucking hate you so much. You you're just a a fucking waterfall of tales and enlightenment. Well, at least they appreciate that. Yeah, they do. They do. Yep. How about you? What's going on in your life, Donovan? Yep. Yeah, tell me about you. What do you want to know, Mom? What's been going on? Like what? How is everything? You know how everything is. You're here. (laughs) (laughs) That's... It's been the same for fucking months. Uh, I mean, I guess we can tell people that uh, we pulled the money out for the GoFundMe. Uh, we didn't hit the entire goal, but that's okay because I it accounted for like a shit ton of extra money just in case that, you know, we didn't get all the way there. But we still got a decent amount. That I feel is enough to work with. and Definitely going to make that happen. So now it's just a matter of pinning down uh, a bus and getting in contact with people to renovate shit and figure out like the dirty details. And that's a that's the thing that's overwhelming me now. But, I mean, that's better than not. I, I would rather have the means to do it than, you know, be sitting with... Nothing and doing nothing. So, just trying to figure out the best way to do that. We'll figure it out. Uh, comedy clubs are opening back up. That's cool. Um, Not that Donovan's funny, but he's gonna try. Who are you to say? Women aren't funny. You don't know what funny is. I do. What, who's funny to you? I, I'm funny. No. Where do you think you get your funny from? Not from you. You you think you just, you know, just naturally became funny. I got it from dad. <laughs> you don't even know your dad. Shut the fuck up. That's what made it funny. <laughs> <laughs> I can I can replace any of my good traits onto him and I make up a perfect dad in my head. <laughs> my dad is an NBA astronaut, uh Professional football player. Your dad was in prison when you were born. Nobody's perfect, who are you? (laughs) (laughs) You're not a fucking saint. Last time I knew your dad was selling, like, stock toilet paper and toilets at the flea market. It's called the hustle, Mom. (laughs) You blaming my dad for being on that fucking grind? He's doing his fucking best. You know what? To raise that other family he's with. <laughs> I don't think the it's right for you to judge. I don't think it's right for you to judge. You're right. You're right. I'm wrong for that. I'm You're wrong. fucked up. You're just mad. <laughs> that he picked somebody else. <laughs> You're jealous. I'm so jealous. I know. I know. 
<sighs> you went from dating a Mexican to dating a Nazi, so. Oh my God, what? What? Did you just say that? You did. You went on a date with a Nazi. I didn't go on a date with you, a Nazi. You kind of did. No, I didn't. You invited him into our home. Listen. That's our new dad. Okay. <laughs> he is not your dad. He is our for dad one. now. He is not your dad, okay? And for one, I did <laughs> not go on a date with him. You did? No. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. He came here to watch the fight. Okay, and we have been friends since we were 14. There was no dating involved. There was no chemistry involved. But you and your friend who was here at the time had a very good time, you know. You guys loved that whole atmosphere. That was that was fun. That was probably the greatest night I've had in, like, the better part of a decade. God, that was horrible. Are you kidding me? Tell people about it. No, I'm not telling anybody about it. You, you know, <laughs> you, you tell it, because seeing as you and your friend oh, had man. such a good time laughing about it. It was the greatest thing. This man is, he's pretty much just an Adonis, really. He's the world's most perfect man. Uh, you decided to wait until after the fact to tell us that he also has... A hit, uh, a tit, a tattoo of Hitler on him. His face, Hitler's face, on his thigh, <laughs> which is probably the smartest idea. Because if you had let that knowledge be known prior, that would have been the funniest fucking thing. But I, I couldn't have let it. Know. I couldn't have told you two beforehand because you were like your friend. Can I say his name? Yeah, you can say Cole's okay. name. Okay, Cole. Cole is sitting in the recliner, and Donovan is sitting next to him. And and obviously, I didn't want this guy here, but whatever, he was there. And he was already drunk when he got here and was just being ridiculous. And every time I looked at Cole or Donovan, they just were snirking and laughing the whole time. You know, so... At that point, had I told them that this guy has a whole ass Hitler face tattoo on his thigh, <laughs> I, I feel like they would have, it would have killed them at that point. Like they would not have been able to control themselves. Because at that point, they weren't even watching the fight. They didn't give a shit oh, about fight the fight. That, that, they were just watching anything. my reaction to this guy and like me trying to get this guy out of my house as quickly as I could. The first thing he did when he came to the house was beeline straight to me, and then he gave me a joint. <laughs> that was nice, though. It was. It was a sweet gesture from a man with a Hitler tattoo. <laughs> that was probably the nicest thing a, a Nazi has ever done for somebody. Okay, with, wait a minute now. With a now. disability. Me, I'm not justifying his Hitler tattoo. With what? And I'm not justifying the swastika tattoo on his arm. He does have that. But but I do have to say, we, we were teenage friends. Right. He went to prison for, like, seven years. For what? A hate crime? Uh, it was, I don't know, like, drugs and fighting. It was a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, but, but either way, yeah. I feel like he, he kind of did what he felt he needed to do. I'm not justifying it, because he has been out <laughs> for... <laughs> no, because he has been out of prison for, like, five years. So the first thing I would have done was been... I would have got that covered up, and he hasn't. So you do have to question why, why what? he hasn't done that. It's expensive. Mm, no. Yes, it a is. A lot of tattoo shops will, under those circumstances, a lot of tattoo shops will do those for free. Listen, Mom. I'm not judging the man. I am. Wow, you're fucking fucked up for that. And plus, I do want to point out that it did sound like you were apologizing for somebody... With a Nazi tattoo in our current year. And that's kind of an unacceptable thing to do. I, I don't even know. It's kind of a bad what look. Just, what? It's kind of a bad look. Why? Because I'm over here, at least I'm open to giving him another shot. Because I'm a good person. I think that there's room for change. And he's clearly a man that just wants nothing more than to love and support you. Jesus but Christ. you won't let him. Okay, really? Because you and Cole gave me shit till like 3 o'clock in the damn morning <laughs> about this man. That's how we show our love in this family. We give each other a little bit of shit. That's how we welcome in our new father. My new dad. <laughs> he is not your dad. He is our dad. You, 
You need to be more nice to dad. And, the, and let me just clarify. We never dated. It was never a dating thing. We were high school friends. I can't wait to have my little Nazi brother. <laughs> 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 going to name him Adolf. <laughs> You're such a dick. Happy Easter, everyone. Happy Easter. <laughs> Is that where we're ending? I think so. That's where we're ending. 